Journaling is a very adult way of dealing with your emotions, and personally, I find that daily journaling really helped me find grounding and mindfulness. So recently, I came up with the idea of making a journal prompt jar. It's kind of a way to romanticize your life, especially if you do regular journals like I do. It's fun to make, and it also really helps with your writing blog or creative blog. And you can make this at home for absolutely free. So I started off by going on to ChatGTP. It's a great tool. It's free, and it's really great for making and crafting journal prompts. I am making a hundred journal prompts in total, that includes every aspect of life. Uh, for example, gratitude, self-reflection, self-discovery, mindfulness and grounding, future goals and aspirations, relationships, connection to the world, and also shadow work. If there is any particular topic that you want to focus on for your journal prompt jar, you can absolutely do that by just changing the prompt a little. Now, I will leave the prompt that I used in the description section below, so that if you want, you can just copy and paste, and voila! In just a few seconds, you will have a hundred plus journal prompts for your journaling sessions and for your creativity. I was actually planning to go on Canva and then copy and paste all of these journal prompts on paper and then I'll print it out and cut it. But then I decided that it might be too much work, so I figured that I can just write them down instead by my hand. I started by cutting some pieces of paper into strips. I actually struggled a lot to write because the strips were too thin, so if you are doing this at home like I am doing, I highly suggest that you cut it a little bit wider, maybe an inch or about two and a half centimeters. So the next step is to just writing down all of the journal prompts on laptop. I have my laptop next to me, and this whole process took me about an hour, I think. It's kind of a little bit more tiring than I expected, but it was well worth it at the end. Maybe if you do on the computer and you print it out, it might save you a lot more time, especially if you have like a cutting board, like a cutting machine to cut the papers for you. So once you have the journal prompts all written down or printed out, then fold it up into small pieces. Use a jar that is big enough so that you have plenty of space when you need to shake it up or you need to stir everything and mix everything. So that's it, we're finished. Close the lid, shake it up, and you have a lot of journal prompts to use for a couple of months. Even if you journal once a day, a hundred journaling prompts is going to last you three whole months. I am so happy with the result. I feel like it's so romantic to do this for yourself. So I hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you like arts and journaling, then it would make me very happy if you subscribe to my channel. But even if you don't, thank you so much for watching today's video with me, and I really hope to see you next time. I will try to post regularly on my channel, maybe once or twice a week, so stay tuned and see you soon.